Now, you heard Dick say that the interior walls were insulated, as well as the exterior walls. Now, we insulated the interior walls to keep the sound down in the house. Exterior walls, of course, for thermal control inside the house. We didn't use fiberglass on this job. We used a rather new product called polyisonine foam. It comes in the back of a truck, part A, part B. The chemicals travel down the hose and get mixed at the nozzle, and then it expands right in the stud bay. It's a novel chemical process. And the other day, we had a chance to catch up with the inventor. Well, I love watching this stuff go on. It's like angel food cake in the way it expands. It's called polyisonine. It's an insulation material that we've used in many of this old house projects. And we're here with the guy who invented it, Gabe Farkas. Gabe, there are a lot of different ways to insulate a building. What uh, motivated you to try to come up with a new one? Well, I looked at the existing materials, and I felt that uh, each of them had certain positives and negatives. What I tried to do is uh, put together all the positives into one product that would uh, sort of do good things from, take away uh, right. go, all the good things from all the other materials. What were you looking for? Well, I was looking primarily for a material that would give me high R value, that would uh, control the air leakage, that would be flexible so that it would move with the building structure, that would uh, uh, ultimately be safe to the environment mm -hmm. uh, and uh, healthy. Why is flexibility important? Well, in order to maintain the seal, which is a primary need for building a healthy home, which is what my focus initially was, uh, is uh, to maintain that seal. And uh, so the insulation has to move the insulation with the building. Has to move with that building, not to allow the air leakage. And, uh, and because this is kind of a soft foam and it sticks to all the framing members, it moves around with the building. Ex exactly. Now, one of the frustrations we have is that the code in most places won't let us use it unless it's covered by drywall. Are you working on that problem? Well, yes, uh, we are, of course, but homes uh, have uh, or carry some stigma um, from the past days. Right, because and there are some types of foam that were actually dangerous. Exactly. And, of course, uh, today's technology, especially this material, very healthy and uh, not a concern. But it'll take a while to, to convince the code officials. Right. Well, we're very impressed with it, and uh, I think we'll probably continue to use it. Thank you very much.